Yeah, yeah, we definitely. Yeah. It's only a few years ago, you know. It's not that long ago, so you can remember every you know first gig we played and stuff like that. And it's just the same now. It's just as exciting playing like here as it was when we were playing in the uh, you know the local bar flyers, things yeah. like that. Well, what was your first gig? My very first gig actually was in the Cardiff Arena for a. Um, do you know the Taste the Chaos um, thing that used to go around? Well, uh, we won a competition to play like the side stage there. Yeah. And that was actually my first gig with a band uh, in front of like 7,000 people. <laughs> but my second one was much smaller in front of like 100 people or something like that the following day in uh, Club Evil Bath in Cardiff, yeah. um, which is like the Welsh club, which is one of the best venues in Cardiff. Yeah. We played there hundreds of times and okay. we still play there now. It's like every Christmas we tend to do something there. Do you? Yeah. Holds good memories for us. Yeah. Like. Because your trajectory has been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. It, it was pretty speedy. I mean, they, we played for like it probably took like two years doing all the small venues and supporting everybody we could I mean we spotted well everybody really from you know other Welsh acts like Manic Street Preachers things like that to like the Goo Goo Dolls or you know a huge variety Thick Sex to Mars Last Prophet Stephonics um, you know a wide variety of people did you ever have in those early days did you ever have that thing when you were like doing a gig and you were kind of pinching yourself um, after the gig, yeah. I mean, when we play, we don't tend to think about it. Yeah. But then you come off stage, say, when we played two years ago with the Stephonics to like 30,000 people or something like that, I think it was. And then you're like, you know, because they've always been like a, you know, childhood favourite as you're growing up. Yeah. Like, so you always tend to pinch yourself after that, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And then when you think of your future, where do you think you're going to be taking yourself? Who knows? I'm, no idea at all. I mean opportunities come up all the time and things you never think you'd be doing um, so who knows you know and end, uh, endless possibilities there are yeah. yeah as a band how do you kind of exist together I um, mean we were all great friends we all hang out at home and stuff like that anyway so it's just kind of like a kind of family type environment you know yeah. Yeah. and then when you're writing yeah. how does that work um, generally, one one of us will bring an idea to the table that we work on at home, and then we'll just all tear it apart and you know throw in other ideas, and it's quite an easy process, really. Oh, you're so yeah. used to doing it. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely a lot easier now than when we first started, kind of thing. Well, the, when we first started, it was kind of easy because there was no pressure to get anything done. Um, like the second and third albums, was a bit more pressure because you had to get something done. But now it's kind of a breeze. It's just like you know, just hanging out and songs falling out, so, yes. And when you're writing now, yeah. do you ever feel a kind of change? Um, you don't feel it, but I mean, every album we do is progressed. Um, um, but yeah, it's not something that I notice, but it's just a natural thing, really. Yeah. Yeah. Because you guys are always... Yeah, just, you know, new musical influences or age or I don't know what, it's just, you know, natural, you know? Yeah. Do you feel... Um, that you're thinking of different types of things. Um, lyrically, Alan, maybe, yeah, because he's responsible for, yeah. you know, the lyrics and the themes of the songs and stuff like that. So, I mean, his lyrics are going to be different from, you know, five years ago when he was, you know, a 20 year old or a 19 year old to now. I mean, we go through a lot of things, don't you, in five years? We've traveled to a lot of places, uh, lived through a lot of experiences, so, I'm, you know, I'm sure they do change, you know. And then for you yourself, are you thinking. Yeah. When you think back to how you were when you were doing your first yeah. gig, and you think back to now, yeah, and yes, I mean completely different. It's, and it's just as exciting, but I mean this is more you know normal now to back then because you know we did a lot less then than we do now, and so you kind of become comfortable with it and you know more used to doing it. Um, but it's always just as exciting because everywhere is different. You know, we're never doing the same thing every day, never playing the same gig. You know. It, on any particular night, it can be completely different, you know, different crowd, different atmosphere, um, even though it's the same songs, but... Uh, musically speaking, yeah. what's been the thing that you personally have been most proud of? Since, since the beginning, since you um, were There's so many different things, um, really, on each album. I mean, there's been particular moments that I've uh, enjoyed more and, you know, certain songs that have meant more and stuff like that. Um, but each one just as exciting because we, we never try to repeat ourselves so each one has been different yeah. um, so there's always been like different songs on particular albums that are just, are just as exciting and same now for we write new songs and the one we'll be playing tonight now we're playing a new song and that's a really exciting song at the moment for us so. why is that? Um, just because it feels good to play it's just yeah. you know we've been playing the same songs for the past year and a half two years or even you know five years for some songs 
Um, so just to throw something new into the mix is exciting, and to see like the audience appreciate the new new songs as well that you know they've never ever heard before. So yeah, can you actually see members of the audience individually? Yeah, you yeah. can see them trying to sing a lot as well, even though they would have never <laughs> possibly heard the song ever. You see yeah. them mouthing along, it's like that's not the words. So. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's really good that they try and you know, yeah, or like is... listen to the first course and try to sing about the last course. You know, it's yeah. really, really, really exciting. Yeah. Oh, you also want to get in and sing it with them. Like yeah, this. sometimes you know, yeah. Ali does. Ali often does jump in and sing with them. That's but, cool. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah. I've never done it personally, but yeah, <laughs> my guitar lead is very short. How frustrating! <laughs> <laughs> what would be if you could have um, an ideal gig? Yeah, like, it could be anything. Yeah, yeah, any. Anything yeah. to describe it? I think we already played it actually. Um, our first time in Japan, we were playing uh, Summer Sonic Festival, yeah. and the one in Osaka is in, I think it's Osaka, is on like a bay. It's like a, a man made island on this um, bay, so you're just playing basically to the ocean with all these mountains in the background in front of all these Japanese people who are singing the songs, even they probably don't even know, you know the language or whatever. But that was probably the ideal thing. I love playing in situations like this, you know, not normal, where you're kind of like in the outdoors and stuff like that. We've, there's been a few of them where it's just like nice to look up from stage and see like this uh, dramatic backdrop, whether it be mountains or the or the seaside or things like that. You know, compared to normal venues and stuff like that. Yeah. And then when you walked out at that Osaka gig, yeah, that must have been quite a moment. Oh yeah, it was completely something you you know what I've never experienced in Bom before and probably never will again. That type of thing, you know, yeah. it's just a surreal kind of atmosphere. You know, all these people. I don't know, thousand, thousand people then in the background, just the ocean and stuff like that. Yeah. And they knew your songs. Yeah. Well, I say knew, you know, you don't, never know, but... <laughs> but yeah. they were, like, there with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, completely different language, yeah. different country. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty special. It's special. Yeah. Okay. You've still got the opportunity to create another gig. You've done we that, have. but... Yeah. We have. We so have. Yeah, I mean, like I said, everything's always new. We've never done this place before. No. Um, it's the last festival of the summer, but uh, all summer we've been doing new things like that. Uh, last summer we played in a place called Nîmes in France, mm -hmm. uh, Festival de Nîmes it was called, and that was actually in a, an amphitheatre, um, like an ancient amphitheatre where the walls were crumbling down, and that was another you know pinch yourself moment because it was like as the sun was setting as well. There's all these uh, people, French people, um, they didn't really know who we were because we were supporting the Offspring, I think it was that day. Um, but they were all like probably getting into it and going for it and in the backdrop is this massive amphitheatre with all you know old windows and arches with the sun shining through and that was uh, one of the highlights as well that we've ever played yeah so everywhere is different you know lots of different experiences does it make you feel emotional or? yeah it does yeah especially yeah. when you play like an emotional type song or something like yeah. a, you know like a slow one or something like that and you see people singing it back it's definitely uh, emotional yeah wow. good emotions obviously yeah yeah no <laughs> but that's yeah. Incredible. It is, it's pretty it? special, yeah. And when you've done something like that and then yeah. you then go home, go back to Cardiff, yeah. how does that feel? Um, just a bit surreal, you know, you don't expect to be going that way, that distance to play in that type of place because, yeah. you know, you are kind of used to playing like indoor UK venues, which, you know, some of them are pretty grotty, aren't they? Um, yeah. So to go from that and then to go and play like somewhere special and outdoors is like completely different, but, you know, just all just take it all on the chin, you know, it's just exciting. It's just, yeah, it's good. And then in your daily life, yeah, as a really big musician, yeah, what kind of things happen to you every day? I just normal stuff, and just same as every, anybody else does, you know. That's why it's even you know more special because you go and do those things, you come back to normality, and then you're like, oh, yesterday I was playing, you know, in Tokyo Bay, or today I'm in uh, Nimes, or today I'm back in Cardiff, going to Morrison's, you know, <laughs> you know that kind of stuff. Yeah. Then what types of other things do you look at when you're not? Or do you ever not do music? Yeah, quite often. I mean, we have weeks and weeks off, you know. Uh, we probably only like play for six months a year. What do you do the rest of the time? I'm um, just. I like to go canoeing and stuff like that, and uh, I love the outdoors, so I do a lot of like walking and running and stuff like that. Away from music, you know. But when you're doing that. Yeah. Do you think you're absorbing things that then? Yeah, come you, pro into you probably do. Yeah. yeah, I mean, atmospheres and stuff like that always come across in music, don't they? So, I mean, you know, you probably don't know what's happening, but definitely soaking in you know atmospheres, places. Like when I walked up the hill there yeah. earlier, watching down over the people in the festival is you know nice, nice to see. Yeah, because yeah. 
we spoke to funeral for a friend last year. Okay. Here, yeah. And they said it was like home. Yeah. Yeah. Like Wales or yes, yeah, yes, yeah Wales. there's lots, yeah. lots of mountains, yeah. 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 Like yesterday when canoeing a couple of us went canoeing down the river and today I'm here, you know. Yes. Yeah. Oh was that in Wales that you were canoeing? Oh no, it was actually in uh, near Hereford. Oh, okay. So just over the border. Close. Yeah, close. close enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And do you feel Welsh? Because you really look Welsh and um, everything about the band. I couldn't say because I don't, don't know what it's like to feel anything else. Yeah. So I, I just say yes. Do you ever think of, um, it's kind of quite an emotional thing, but I think of Wales, I think a lot about the churches. Yeah. Do I love uh, seeing all the, the old villages and stuff like that. Yeah. And I mean, we're like... We, we're like a grandparents kind of from like in the, the deep in the valleys and stuff yeah. like that I mean grown up, grown up in those type places yeah. so it's, you know it's always got like a special place in your heart and stuff like that so yeah, yeah. it's really lovely yeah sorry yeah if you could have a wish and you could make a wish come true yeah do you know what it would be I'm um, just to be able to carry on doing this I guess and uh, playing in new and exciting places yeah uh, no wonder you're so yeah. happy <laughs> you're doing what you want to yeah definitely you? yeah one wouldn't be doing anything else, definitely. That's for sure. What's your favourite sound? Sound? Water. I love being around the water, you know, so I definitely say water. What's your favourite sound? Mm -hmm. the piano. piano, yeah. I like the piano. I like the wind. Yeah. The sound of the wind. Yeah. Or rain in the window, you know, all yeah. those type of things. I know what you mean about the water as well. Yeah, it's yeah. calming, isn't it? Isn't it? it is, yeah. Can you remember the first thing that you ever played? Played? Um, as a band or? No, no. Yeah, I was used to be in the orchestra in school, I used to play double bass in the bassoon and used to be in like jazz bands and stuff like that, yeah. so that kind of stuff really, yeah. I don't actually remember the very first thing, but yeah. it's probably some, you know, like smoke in the water that you always learn guitar first or something like that. Or, yeah, it smells like teen spirit or something like that. If there's anything that you'd like, us to think about yeah. your music, yeah. what would it be that you'd like us to um, Just the first time you saw us live and what you felt on the yeah. environment and the atmosphere. Because yeah. we, you know, we always try to create a, a nice atmosphere when we play and, you know, excitement and stuff like that. So, yeah, just think back to the first time you ever saw us and, uh, yeah, hold on to that memory. Thank you very much. That's okay. Thank you very much. Cheers.